Hello YouTube and welcome back to Cage of Shadows and let's play Shadowrun Mercurial Episode 3. So, we've just ended up in this parking lot uh, with Newt's burnt out van. So, our objectives are, what now? But we have some karma to spend first, the important things in life. So, let us improve. Well, as I like to keep my body up, I think. That's going to go. You have a tendency to be in the front line every, always. Oh, I'm going to have to oh, improve my pistol skill. Oh, look at that. Bang on. And get infinite reloads with pistols. I like that. And I'm still skint with 19 uh, new into my name. Right. Let's go and see what Mr. Foley's secretary said. Uh oh. Oh, come off it. Um, Laurie, Colin, and Mike. I like how they've named it. You look like a spellcaster. So, as is Shadowrun, gank the mage. Boom! Really? 71% and I missed? Alright. There we go. Fuck, I forgot my med kit. <laughs> Screw you. Um, is Mikuro still a badass? Uh, great up quality. It's going to suck now. <laughs> oh, I love this dialogue. Boom. Uh, this isn't looking too good. I wonder if my... Oh, I haven't got a grenade left. Fires and explosives. Oh, nice. At a single target. Oh, you mean it's not... Hell, let's try the underslung grenade launch, people. The shaman gave us a good symbol. Uh, 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 I like him. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. Cool. Let's go over to that ley line. No, Padre. There you go. Not doing great here. Alright. Oh, that's your grenade. Really? Voice. Lame. Alright. Drone control mode. Doop 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 doop. Drone, point blank range to the face, and you still suck. Damn it. And yep, that's the mage. And that sucked. That's gonna hurt though. Oh, you shit. Absolute feckin' shit. Okay, as I'm failing to gank the mage entirely, let's instead... <laughs> Minus 6 AP. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere for a while. Right, aim shot. Oh, 20. Mercurial kicks ass. Can I not hire her as a runner in the future? Uh, and point blank range drone. Ah, uh, these freaking gangers are late. Uh oh, that doesn't bode well. Not the drone! Oh, that's not good. Padre. Actually, a crappy drone. Good. Crappy drone does his job. Um, right, For this stage you do need to get behind some. That's a big ass assault rifle he's got there, though. Right. Um, To be honest, if gangers come in that way, I reckon I go this way. Point blank. Get a bit of. Oh, God. You suck. Uh, I don't know how long she's going to stay up, but let's just get a bit closer. Oh. Don't know that works well. 
that does work well. Right. Um, let's just try and keep her uh, dazed. Behind these vans. Oh, going mercurial. Um, do I want to get Padre out of the way at this particular point? Because I have no idea what that street gang has got. So, Padre, go and hide behind the van off the ley line. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a. Ow. That's a lot of baddies. And I wish, I wish... I had full auto mode, to be honest, at point blank range. You suck. What am I meant to be doing, just fighting these guys off? I presume so. Alright, I need cover from somewhere. Right, that's the bigger problem. <laughs> So, how many of you guys have got up here? Two. Oh, that's just... Control, hit! You go that way. Padre, what can you do for me? Not a lot there by the looks of it. Not a lot that way either. Um, who's injured? Okay, you're wounded for 10, and my character Cage, I'm wounded for 5. Okay, well, Padre's healer. Let's. Okay, let's heal me. I'm far more useful in this fight than that bloody rigor. Useless shit. 27% and that's it. So long range. Powerful. Oh, oh bloody hell. How the hell did that hit? Alright. Mercurial. Yeah. And in Rome. Um, actually, I'm just, yeah, try and take that guy out. We know this drone sucks. Bullet magnet, deploy. What a shock it missed. Oh, bollocks. SMGs are a pain in the ass in this game because they do multiple hits and magic healing only does your last hit, so it puts damage on you, but that looks like a boss in two steps, which is a pain in the ass. Right, okay, so Cage is gonna try and deal with these. You tell me you can't can see anybody. Oh, there's a street mage. That's bad. That's oh so bad. Curial. Nice. You really can't hit the broad side of a barn door, can you? No, can you bloody drone? There we go. Drone, come down here, because I'm going to repair you. Inventory, drone repair kit. Not enough AP. What? Ugh, bloody pointless. Alright. In the open. Hit. Hey, actually hit something. I'm impressed. Boom. 
Oh. Lame. Alright, so I think you do need to get on that ley line. Uh, which way do we go? Oh, Mercurial's got an action left. Damn it. Street Mage worries me. Oh, he's not a threat immediately. Those are too fucking out there. Um, what drugs you got? Oh, baby. What do you mean, not enough AP? Why can't I heal my drone? Oh, because it take. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Because I had to step one next to it. There we go. Alright. Let's cage a shot back down there, not great. Let's just deal with this punk then. I'm awesome. Next. And how much are you wounded by nine? You're wounded by five. Curial. Uh, has she got shot on? She has, but she does kind of need to reload. Light cover, reload. Cool. Oh, there goes the drone. Look, the troll's big. Okay, well, that's an easy choice. Come on, after all these, and now I'm not getting the big damage. Come on, Cage. Boom, that's better. Uh, who else have I got? Uh, what are you doing? Um, oh, you got dump shock as well. For crying out loud. <laughs> nice, that will do. We'll uh, happily take that. 78% on the big troll street ganger. Or I've got 70% down bottom. Or I can actually. Tr no, I'm trying to heal that idea, is there? Nice. Um, yeah. Boom. Boom. And Mercurial. Boom. Boom. Awesome. And you're reloading, that's good. Alright, let's do the point blank. Game on you. Boom. Oh, for Christ, Anna. Um, Curial, let's... She's so bad than any of the runners I've got, I hired. Damn it. Come up. Yeah, awesome. Alright, and then I want to stun. Back by the shot. Yeah. Now my bad self, we'll do this. Oh, I'm awesome. And then, boom. No, missed. You've got to use an aim. Dude, why are you in control? There you go. Right. Ugh, oh, you suck. Better. 
Nice. Again. Ugh, oh, missed. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Yay. Huzzah. Right. Wow, that was a interesting battle. Ah, I like it. Nice bit of dynamic combat coming from both sides. That's Mercurial is a boss. I'm a boss, and the rest of my crew sucks. Actually, no. Padre was actually pretty awesome there. That's a good control mage. I like him. You definitely get to come along again. You, El Jeff, suck. And come on, even Gunner, kind of, you, you, you're leaving to be desired here. All right, runner, cell phone, message to Mike from a block number. Message. Here's a deal, pal. Heard of this real easy score. A couple of dirk heads tried to kidnap Curiel from here. Gig. From here, because I'm going to be her. Gig tonight at Underworld 93. There's some serious interest floating around about finding them before the picks. 10k Nuyen for information leading to their capture. Response. I'm in CN Lu CNL2. Message. Got a tip. Someone saw the van down the I-5 near your Shiro's. Check that out first. Well, crap. I noticed you didn't help in that fight, you shit. Um, how hurt am I? Wrong one. Um, okay. Max looks much more relieved with a stim patch and a trank patch on one arm and a scar relit and gripped in his teeth. Max sh shuts his comic off and says, My secretary is lo looking into it and I pissed like a racehorse. I feel a hundred pounds lighter, am I right? Max laughs and he seems more like himself, though a little high strung still. It seems like he didn't really notice the combat that went on over his shoulder a moment ago. There you go, some more people just tried to kill us. Mm. Max nods, gesturing with a telecom. Yes, I heard the racket while I was on my call. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, you were like 20 feet away. <laughs> Disturbing, terribly distracted. Shh, asshole. Max says, try not to look in the direction of the corpses. On the plus side, this is a rough neighbour, so not a lot of people to ask questions. Am I right? I'll take the advance now, if you don't mind. Max nods, reaches his pockets and extracts a bundle of cred sticks. About more than a cursory glance, he passes them to you. Here your advance, and you're more than earned it. I know I fucking have. Oi! I didn't finish talking to you, you shite. What? You asked the advance and that kills the conversation. There was more questions I had for the asshole. Bastard. Call a cab. Time to go. Taxi operator answers the call most immediately and smiles when the call connects. You know that she's following a prompted script but it makes you feel better to see someone who isn't trying to kill you. Good evening. How can I help? I need a pick up. I'm at you... Yoshio's off the I-5 and I'm headed to the, the Cornet Hotel. I apologise sir, the officer says halfway. I'm not familiar with the Cornet Hotel and I'm not showing it on the registry. Can you give me any landmarks? Pull it up Barron's near the Sunnyside Street Market. The operator looks very serious and says, I'm sorry to inform you that Barron's are outside our coverage area. I can find you a third party cab but we do not vouch for the safety of the services. I'm showing here that combat cab and a number of gypsy cabs operate in the area if you are interested. I can contact those companies and I can guarantee there will be a cab there within 260 minutes. Well, balls. The operator looks very serious and says, Sir, I can't possibly recommend that. According to Lone Star Statistics, there has been 17,572 incidents in that area in the last month. And there's notation here that many crimes in that area go unreported. <laughs> I love the ricin, guys. It's just awesome. Our driver operators have been robbed, attacked, and several killed or killed. Several killed or killed. What? I think it's been several injured or killed in 4,575 separate incidences so far this year. You're certainly free to make your own decision, but I want to make it clear that neither I nor the company endorse that choice. You realise that there's a van running in the parking lot with keys in it and no surviving owners. <laughs> Van number two, oh yeah. <laughs> Going for a joyride. Still abandoned runner van. Oh, hell yeah. So long, bitches. The doghouse. 
Leaving Newt's van in the parking lot, you steal the runner van and try not to think about the possible bad things that will come from that. It only makes sense to head back to the doghouse. No one knows where it is, not even the locals. No one expects a superstar like Maria Mercurial, Mercurial to be hidden there. I hoped you hoped a ghost that Silver Arrow has gotten rid of the bodies, fixed the doors, and hopefully cleaned up the place. He knew you were hiring a team, but I doubt he'll be expecting you to bring friggin' Mar Maria Mercurial home with you. Time to lay low and plan your next move. <laughs> Love it. You hear someone frantically pounding on the door. I need to get a drink, am I right? Okay. Let's turn the lights on. Okay, that turned the lights off. Um I want a med kit. <laughs> this is not gonna bode well in the slightest, is it? Hotel manager. The man's clear out of breath, he's been running for his life. He stops pounding the door, gradually crossing his face before confusion. Ron wait, you're not Ronald or Reggie or any of their crew. Who are you and what you do in their doghouse? I'm the lieutenant. Ronnie always told us to come here first whenever a big problem came up. Ronnie said they'd handled it. It's the best for everyone to keep the brass out of the loop. You know, because they'd all end up here kicking our asses and asking for a donation for their trouble. Bet we just handle problems ourselves and deal with it when something comes up. Apparently that's me now. What's going on? The boys were really big on keeping the gangs, yaks, mob and other and co co cops there out of the neighbourhood. We wanted this place to be as safe as possible for the folks that live there. I'm the manager of the corner hotel. The Cutters are a small gang a couple of blocks over. My security chief heard noise from up on the roof and went to check it out. He thought he could handle it, but the residents started running screaming through the lobby, crying about some gunfight on the roof. I don't know what happened to my security chief, but with the Cutter invading my building, I hightailed it over here to get you, get the guys. you got to get out. you got to get them out of there. Alright, I'll take a look. They better be saying this for me. The hotel manager looks relieved and wipes the face. Of course, you'll be compensated. You have everything. Just keep my people safe. Where the hell's... Wait. Come here. One, where's Mercurial gone? Silver Arrow, talk to me. There we go. Silver Arrow smiles at you as you approach. Just run into the slightly... Uh, less filthy safe house. He managed to get the bodies out, although there's still a very unpleasant scent in the air. Hey Chummer, what do you think? Got the stuff moved like you wanted. I even found a small cleaning drone who was trying to clean the smell of the carpet. Bodies and wet dog. I don't know don't know what I don't know that will work, but I'm willing to give it a give the dime try. Give let the drone I'll oh, let the drone spell an error try. I get some of your tech work I got some of your tech working too. Anyone paying too much attention? Silver Arrow shrugs. I went out a few times for supplies and got what I needed. That chatty orc at the end of the alleyway, he was asking a lot of questions about you. You know, the one with the big nose. Has it been quiet here? Silver Arrow nods and shrugs, gesturing discreetly in the direction of where the corpses were rotting. I have my hands full. It's been pretty quiet. Someone was banging on the door earlier, but I didn't answer and eventually they just went away. Uh, okay, so here's the situation. Looks at the crowd that came in with you, Solent. I thought you were just going to hang out. I didn't know you'd be bringing the team back so quick. I only got a six pack of soy beer. It's a little more complicated than that. Somewhere does a quick head kick, then looks at you. There aren't enough beds here, Chema. Where is everyone going to sit? I, uh... Silver Arrow freezes, and you realise at this point that you see Mariah and recognise who she is. A decker with a tech fetish, his mind implodes for almost a full minute before he can continue. Yep, we got hired to, pr to protect Mariah Mercurial and her manager. Silver Arrow swallows a few more times, looking starstruck. Are you serious, the Silver Queen here? Are you serious? Silver Arrow walks in a quick circle and adds, Are you serious? <laughs> I need a favour. Silver Arrow raises an eyebrow. Chama, right in the middle of the last favour you asked me to do. How about we sleep on it? And takes up. What happened to the bodies? I'll take a chair. Look at your team, Van, and guess. How did we do? Silver Arrow shrugs. Yeah, I got the street dock here to come up. Hmm. Got a decent return to 2k for a lot of them. Organ grinders pays more, but then I'd have to transport the bodies all the way across town, and that's a lot of hassle I didn't need. Silver arrow, plus you two credit sticks of plastic on them unbroken. Thanks. Right. 
You guys just hate me, don't you? Not really. You've just... Right, I've got more karma. Um, I'm going to save it for the moment, though, because I can't decide what to spend it on. Right. Save the game. I have no idea where Mercurial's gone. I want to check to see if my other gear was better armor than this. Nope, this is slightly better armor. The silly top hat that is. Oh well. <laughs> ah, no, nope. oh, that's Silver Arrow. I thought that was Mercurial. I have no idea where she's gone, though, I must admit. Nope, she has disappeared on me. Unfortunately, I've just lost my second best per <laughs> next best person next to me on the on the team. Damn it! Um. I wonder if I can talk to her. Talk to Luna. Oh, it seems I can talk to them again about their default conversations. Hmm, not sure. But nothing new. Yeah, I so don't trust you, you little snitch. Dirty walk sitting on the plastic sidewalk, scratches his nose, you walk out. When you move to address him, he says, Ho there, what are you looking for? I can help you score. What's the word on the streets now? Snout coughs into his hand, covering a laugh. You mean anything other than every Tom, Dick and Harry trying to find you for the massive bounty on your head? Ah, oh, crap. Who put the bounty? So it pops a zit. What? Snout pops a zit. That's disgusting. Thank you very much, writing team. And looks at the mess on his fingers. Ah! Oh. I've heard it's a few different ways. One of the fraggers said you pissed off someone named Hernandez. Most people heard about the bounty for a fixer, and I heard through some people that you you frag that you accuse that of, and they want your head. Oh, crap! How much? Snout plays at some passerby as he answers you. But he lowers his voice until they move away. You should be flattered. They're talking 10g for information about you. Got some people and got some people ambitious, thinking if they offer 10 for info, they'll drop a bankroll for you in person. But we're talking. 10,000 new yen, not corpse script, physical creds, just for little old you. I need to put a spacebar in talking 10k. I heard a couple of yabbo, yabbos talking about it as they walked around. From that, I talked to old Sam and someone reached out to him about the information. The reward is for information that leads to them grabbing you, so people aren't content to just hit the telecom and give up a rumour of where you are. Limited number of payees available. People want to grab you, put you in a body bag or plastic or cuffs and sit on you until the bounty is paid. People in the street aren't stupid. They don't believe that they'll get paid any amount until they see the cred, but they're greedy. So the chance to make that sort of money will get them moving. What would it cost me for you to keep quiet about this? <laughs> Snout laughs. That's the question, isn't it? People offered me a tiny cut of the money, but you, you're my friend, and I, and I can say I knew you before we were famous. You get that I knew him when discount. Snout clears his throat and offers 150 new and until next time. Um, I'm going to go for that one. 150, that seems a little low for keeping quiet about 10k reward. Snout nods. Think of it as an installment plan. Instead of paying me 10 grand to keep quiet, and instead of me going for the 10 grand reward, do you have the most reliable snitch on the street actively keeping people from finding you. This blows over in a few days, I get a little cred, and you get a little breathing room. If it goes a week, or if the people looking for you are desperate enough to raise the prices, then we have to revisit our options. How much would it cost you to give me a head start when people come looking for me? Snap shakes his head and waves you off. No, this is an all-inclusive service. You pay me, I keep quiet, and if anyone is sniffing around, I buzz your telecom and let you know. Snout cocks his head and clears his throat before adding, lest they pay me a mint to rat you out. I'm talking obscene amount, the kind that would get me and my granny out of here. P 
put us up somewhere nice, maybe buy a round for the locals at the expense, expense of Waterman Hole, Drown My Sorrows and Guilt and Soybe. Interesting, I can... Alright, done, here you go. Snout pockets the roll of notes and looks around to make sure that no one saw him do it. Okay, so now when someone asks about you, I'll say you cleared out and I haven't seen you around. Nothing about the doghouse or your teammates, nothing. Snout clears his throat, clearly considering his next words and adds, Next time I see you, you can pay me again for the next instalment. For that instalment. Okay. Well, shit. Doesn't this suck? That's the drug dealer. Ah, huh, awesome. I get to uh, decide my crew again. Well, Padre definitely makes a cut because he was useful. Everybody else was kind of shit. <laughs> Put it simply, uh, I will be taking the melee character this time, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stick with Gunner. Cause I kind of like her attitude, and the rest of them are a bit freaky. The other samurai. He's a f addicted to porn, and he didn't say a word. And all he's got is a big old revolver. What have you got? You got an AK. She's got something special. Has an unassung grenade launcher, so you know. What can go wrong with that? I also like how it's doing a team selection. <laughs> Interesting you can change team though. Right, investigating the Coronot Hotel. The Coronot Hotel's manager pounded on your door in panic said the cutters had gotten onto the roof of the building somehow. Tenants had been evacuated. He asked you to get his employees to safety and push the cutters back out of the building. Gabriel was the head of security for the building and he was apparently trying to saw the gang while the others got out. This sort of task that Ronnie and Ray did for the locals. Part-time enforcers and protectors of the people. Force you now to fill this job and plug the power vacuum before something worse comes along. Save the employees, make sure the tenants are out, get rid of the cutters, not like you're in the middle of anything else. I will say one thing. I don't know if I if I missed a dialogue, but the story of um, Ronnie and Razor, you kind of miss that, and you get thrown in, and you're expected to keep the neighbourhood safe. That feels it's a little jarring. But hmm. what I've just hired runners. All right, another little bug. You have a higher runner screen when you click on the wait, the uh, transition node, and then you have on a scene load you have a, a higher screen as well. Minor, minor little bug. That would do. Be careful, boss. The cutters usually don't like screwing around. A lot of them are wide to the gills with nostrils full of cram. Oh, God. That makes them stupid, though. I've gotten out plenty of licks with the cutters without a single shot fired and a couple of credit sticks richer. And with half a wit or a sense of street smarts can get one over on them. Fuck that noise, Jamas, says the Padre. The only language that will get through the empty heads is the language sung from the barrel of a gun. A conversation had eye to eye while staring down the iron sights. Wow, that's harsh from the Padre. <laughs> the way I see it, boss, you've got two choices when dealing with these damn clown shoes. Going talking or going shooting. Just make sure whichever you want you try, you're good at it. Because the cutters aren't going to forgive you for if you... S <laughs> aren't going to forgive you for it if you suck. <laughs> got it. Let's play it by ear. So we're gonna go and shoot him. Which one do you want to frag first? Bet you can't hit the dwarf. Um, can I inter Okay. Let's waste them. Um, what guns? They've all got submachine guns. Okay, I'm gonna go last because I'm the best shot. Grenade! Eight damage. It's a little disappointing, I must admit. Ah, 
That's better. Right. Well and Dervish. What have we got? Slash and we have Frost. No, I'm just going to put the Hurt on. That's a big axe. Oh, and it burns people. Nice. And I'm damaged by four. That's pretty good. Padre. Can you stun him? Nice. Um, I'm then going to get you to retreat. Okay, let me get rid of you. Alright, as you're in melee, let's keep slinging that axe. Shot. Control. Padre, you can hold on that then. He's hunkering down in cover, isn't he? this side to attack her. So anyway, any commands? If anybody knows how to do this, please put it in the comments below afterwards, because I would love to be the other side of that table, away from the person with a submachine gun. Sight of that gun. It's going to cost me one movement to get to there. Okay, let's see what we got. Alright. Oh, Damn, I'm good. I'm trying to find cover. Padre. Hey, you were on minus two AP. How the hell did you get off two actions? Bitch. Oh. Screw you, hippie. Really holding up much hope for you to hit, but you never know. Free damage, joys. Come on, Padre. Okay, awesome. All right, two out of six save. How are we doing health-wise, people? That's what I want. Doing okay. Yeah, it sounds like rum, rum, rummaging and objects hitting the floor, along with voices in a gruff, slurred city speak. You can make out a sentence or two. At the same time, from behind the door, you hear panicked pain moans and groans, accompanied by a frantic female voice. She said extreme urgency in her tone. Alright, let's go and do this. Tammy. Help, I need a suture kit. I send your comlink a handshake request so you'll know if, if Nathaniel, if he, if he doesn't make it, you'll be able to tell how I'm doing too in case those cutters come back. Hurry, I've only got a minute to live. I know biotech. Use biotech. We saved him. Awesome! Having biotech rocks. Let's get out of here. 
So long. Right. Nothing to to gain there. I know there's plenty of cutters up here. Let's waste them. Next scale. Go a chopping. Oh, the, that sucked. Grenade time. Damage. See, that grenade looks pointless because it has the same damage rating as the um, as a single shot. So that to me strikes me as pointless. Um, right, Cage. You're going to try and put some hurt on him. Oh, damn, I'm going to the pistol. That way, and then that way. Oh, crap. I'm just doing this. Screw this, let's just do it the easy way. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, medkit station. I know these are my homies, but I'm gonna borrow some I'm gonna borrow a trauma kit. Ooh. Can't go anywhere that way, so let's go back out into the main drag. And see what else other asses are about. And uh, there wasn't anywhere that way to go. Hang on, did I miss I might be I like this map, it's nice. No, nope, that's just the bogs. And that's more toilets. Okay. Oh, looks like we're going upstairs. Hold. I hold her for you. You hold her for me. Oh, that's nasty. Let's waste them. Should we get some point? Grenade. That makes no sense. That should be an AOE. Come on, guys. Padre, um, can you stun? No. Wow, I'm awesome. That hurt, you asshole. Sweet. Kayla. Okay, thank you. Follow me. I might have something that can help you with these fucks. Okay. Thanks for sending me back there. Check it out. I have a little home security kit hidden behind the couch. Those fucking gangers caught me in the hallway on the way home from the stuff to the shack. Though, and I couldn't get get to it in time. Here, take something to help you out. Take... Take the pistol. I appreciate it. I hope the piece helps. Don't be offended if I lock the door behind you when you leave. Not a problem. Rifle. Her rifle looks like some kind of tank buster. Too bad she didn't get it before the gang has got hold of her. What's behind door number two? Let's just do a quick save. There you go. Got stuff in here. Right, door mechanism. Hello, I hear someone out there. Let me out, please. Take a look at the locking mechanism. It's obviously busted. Wires are dangling over the place, and there's a cavity in the circuitry where some components must have been obviously been. Judging from the pry marks and surrounding metal, a large chunk of tech looks like it's been ripped out from the mag lock. Take a look at the locking mechanism. It's obviously busted. Why is it? Why is it dangling over the place, and there's a cavity? Judging from the pry marks, a large chunk. You'll have to get those back in order to fix it. 
Uh, a bit of duplication of text there, and this is actually the second text that has been spoken as Haley Strockham. So a character text, not GM text. This seems like bad news, and besides you have job to do. Name's Haley Strockham, your common signal ID is your cage. What kind of stupid name is that? Screw you, bitch! <laughs> I'm with the local seamstress union over in the Baroness. I was here on business when all of a sudden the friggin' cutter busted in after my client. I tell you more when you get me out of here. I did what happened. Yeah, after they locked me in, I heard them prying at the door, talking about needing the parts for some firework display. Then the group headed upstairs. If you find them, you find the parts. Hurry. Why can't I click OK? I just have to, what, do I just have to walk away? Uh, Alright, what's this open door? Oh dear. Looks like I've already ransacked this room and left quite a mess behind them. These poor saps didn't pay up. Dead man. Because it's even loot this cred sticks strange. That doesn't bode well. Why are the cutters here if not for Nuyen? Uh oh. Random gang violence is one thing. Oh shit. Looks like the cutters jacked this poor dude while he was locked into the matrix. The cord's still plugged into parts of his head that aren't missing from bullets. But much like the trid screen, there's not much. There's no signal. Right. Send item to your stash. Great, I'm taking a dead man's deck. Well, I feel like an asshole. That's all locked. I assume I can't get into it, can I? No. Right. We are. It's going to be another long episode, I reckon, guys. Guys and girls. But let's head on up to the roof. I'm going to save it. I'm also going to check how health is doing. Not for me, for her. Um, don't you, uh, let's use one of your... Luna doing now. Right, she's back to full health. Good. Okay. S floor two. Jackpoint. Let's have a look what we have in here then. Let's do a bit of deck in. Haven't done that yet. Recent history. Me feed, minesweeper, hit on big gyms. Ooh. Download. Delete. Delete me. Back. Me feeds. Oh my god. Minesweeper. 23 games. There we go. Meh. Took s oh, there we go. That's a big feckin' troll. Let's waste them. Well, I have a suspicion you're gonna be coming towards me. One down. Um... Because your next useless, you go that way. <laughs> Flanked and you did seven damage. Congratulations, you officially suck. Um, padre. Castle. Padre, you can sit back a minute. Some armor on me. Luna. Uh, I think you can. Seven damage. What is our armor? Um, 
damage plus 10? Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, gank the mage. Oh, I didn't see that little ship hiding behind there. Oh, she's getting a kick in. And wow, that guy's fast. That should have healed her entire wounds. He's right in front of you and you only have that. Padre, what can I do? That's not good enough. Um. Oh, I've got the brown in there at the moment. What the f Oh my god. Right. Padre. Oh, they're fighting each other. Your spirits got loose, you idiot. Really? Aim shot. Get the mage. And we have a loose spirit. Oh, bollocks. I hate loose spirits. Oh, good hit. I think that did absolutely jack shit. Wounded three. Wounded two. Great. Not enough IP, you say? Well, oh, feck it. Oh, you hit it. Ugh. Oh, balls to that. That hurt. Had a combination mission mechanism. Alright, let's save this. safe. Um, that combination, I wonder if that allows me to do all this. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Well, they're really interested in speaking one of the most regular clients. He's the one I came to see. 
I was still in bed, but he was in the shower and the cutter busted. Meanwhile, John flew out the window. Who was your client? Gabriel. Gabriel. Brackets last name. Guys, you need to come up with a last name for Gabriel. Talks a big game about how he runs his slum, about how his star is rising, how the wheel of fortune is spinning. Hmm. Sounds like a guy who's got some sort of plan in the works. Okay. Which room were you in? Room 303 on the third floor. Oh, and look for my makeup cabinet on the nightstand. Whatever's in it is yours. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, guy. Don't really give me much time to look in before they blew in here. Thanks, bro. There must be some detail you might have missed. Well, now that you... Ha is it Harley? Not Haley. Sorry. My bad reading. It's a bloke. Well, now that you mention it, a few weeks ago, Gabriel had me up against one of the, the gun emplacements that monitor the roof. It was part of his whole power play gig, part of the employment contract, you see. The guns were turned off at the time anyway. He kept going on about how he was going to blow this, ga this place sky high, and he'd be surfing away from Nguyen all the way down to Aslan and taking me with him. If it was just him in the heat of the moment. Pillow talk, if you will. Why well, do I think Gabriel set this up? But a week or two later, he was up, up late again playing Carl Combat Mage <laughs> with some of his online buddies. Had his VR gear on, so I didn't know. He didn't know I was eavesdropping, but I've heard him a few times say something like, "I was going to be the bomb," and now how he wanted to blow this whole city sky high. I'm not sure if he was just some in some raid with some of his guild mates. <laughs> it was something else. <laughs> anyway, Gary likes to store his accounts as gear files on his character. Here's his password. Don't ask how I know. Maybe you can get some whiz pay data out of in return for sticking your neck out for me. Hey man, thanks for the intel. Rare yard. Ooh. Advanced medkit. Useful. How injured are we? Um, strangely enough, it's. Oh, I'm quite injured. Uh, where's Padre? She uses hers. Padre. Activate. Cage. Cool. Username. Game real password. I'm never going to remember that. And let's go up again. Holy. I guess the welcome party is here. I'm the king of slum now. Now, guy. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I do like six. Youch. Here comes the pain. We need to get you onto that. So let's let's break this way. I figure. Axe. Wow. Yeah. Could break that way. Nice hit. It's a shame. I wonder. Let's just do that. Go that way. Great, he stole my bit of cover. Fan fucking tastic. Um I don't know if that stacks or not. That's going to be really irritating if it doesn't. Sweet. Nice. Shit. Oh, you fucker, you hit me with it. I wanted to heal that 22 damage with one spell, you tough box. Ooh, that's getting close. Right, advanced med kit time. Padre, get on that fucking ley line. Ah. 
deal with Mr. Flanker, shall we? Try a thrust. Again, come on. Why can't you put him down? I'm gonna have to come on, die with fire. Damn it. Damn it. Right, you're dead next turn, that's nice. Um Major boy. Better. That heals different. Oh, that's confusing. That just heals 10 HP. It doesn't heal the last damage. Okay. Yep, that's different. Nice. Come on. Thank you. I've got girl girl has got a Wow. To be honest, you're kind of just dead weight at the moment. There is nothing you can do that's gonna help us. Run up in his grill. You are gonna miss him. You better just not not knock him out of that bloody stew pot. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, yes! Wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Examine body. Hotel security hands Gabriel. Apparently, thought he could handle the gang by himself. Oh dear. Take demolition charges. Got Gabriel's explosive kit. Now to evict the cutters. Let's just have a quick explore of the rooftop because, you know, I want to. I must admit, I like it they put ley lines around on these maps as well. It's a nice map. Just could do. Shame they can't. The editor, I don't think, allows you to paint a backdrop on because I love this rooftop scene. It's just a shame it's got this black. Why does that be pretty sweet? Um, Health wise, actually, before we can rock on. Eek. Didn't I take a bloody pound and a half? Clear the blast area. Ugh. Ah, right. Demolitions for the win. The trip out through the hotel is much less exciting than the trip in, in the floor explosions and the falling bridge the cutter set up. It's quite a thrill. You hear a few sworn promises and insults. This may not be the last you ever hear from the cutters. You head back downstairs in the dark. Apparently someone set off the bomb and knocked out the power to the building. Could have been anybody. <laughs> you could grumble about the stairs, but you're lucky to be alive. I guess the neighborhood has a new hero after all. Joys. Hero complex time. Oh, thank ghost. 
When I heard those explosions, I didn't know what to think. I was afraid they had gotten to you too. The manager draws a deep breath and lets it out slowly. You're Terika, then, though. You took care of them, though. They won't try this again. Um, the security chief is dead, but I took care of the gangers. Hotel manager sighs. Gabriel is dead, huh? I was afraid that would happen, but I was hoping that he'd pulled back and wait for reinforcements. I'll put out the word. We'll have a funeral for him in a few couple of days. Heading back aside, the manager's head hangs a little in defeat. Hey! Where's my payday? Yep. Bastard. Right, anyway. This episode's been running... It's another long... These episodes are long. Um, just with the sort of reading the text and stuff, it does take a, quite a bit longer to get stuff done than uh, you would in a normal action RPG. But I hope everybody's enjoying it. I am certainly am. It's great to have some more content, content for Shadowrun. Um, so, uh, that's the end of episode 3, everybody. I hope you'll come back and join me for episode 4. Until then, so long, chummers.